Hey, what's up guys? Franco here from Pocketable Tech, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Flash Vape Vaporizer. However, before we do that, I'd like to take a brief moment to thank Jerry from FlashVape.com for sending out the Cosmo Black Edition for review. After watching this video, those interested in picking up their own Flash Vape can do so by visiting the links in the description. So out of the handful of vaporizers I've reviewed thus far, this device has to be one of the most interesting designs I've yet to come across. Like its name suggests, it's intended to imitate a flashlight, so in terms of stealth, it's very incognito when out in direct view. While most vaporizers on the market, both portable and desktop units, incorporate some type of plastic into their design, the Flash Vape does the complete opposite. Crafted from 100% aluminum alloy, the Flash Vape is cool to the touch and has a very bold and industrial look. And because of its all metal construction, the feel in hand is extremely sturdy. Weighing in at roughly 12 ounces, it's about twice as heavy as the Da Vinci Ascent, and also slightly taller measuring in at 7 inches tall. But the extra weight is to be expected when dealing with an all-metal body, and because of its balanced weight, it isn't uncomfortable to hold in the hand. Moving along to the heating chamber, we have a 1 inch deep ceramic bowl which is quite large and the fact that they chose to use ceramic means the vapor production is going to have a lot of flavor. Also having a glass drawing stem is only going to add to the equation. Looking at the sides of the device you will see three machine drilled holes on each side equaling a total of six holes. These holes are intended to allow side ventilation something the Flash Vape team is calling direct flow and it works amazingly well at keeping the vapor comfortably cool during use. Last thing I want to touch on in regards to build quality is the see-through circular glass at the top of the vaporizer. This tempered glass, which is removable for cleaning purposes, allows the user to see the vapor production forming while vaporizing, which I think is very cool and a neat design choice. Unlike most other vaporizers, the Flash Vape doesn't have a display or any way to set a specific temperature. Instead, you have full control over the heating chamber by pressing and releasing the power button on the front. Having this type of control means you can fine tune your sessions as well as instantly disengage the heating element right after drawers which will ultimately save you battery as well as save your material for further vaporizing. This full control over the heating element also means you will have to be extra cautious not to overheat or combust your material. So it's going to take some time and practice before you get down a technique that works for you. Those who might have used the Magic Flight launch box, the operation is very similar. But let's start from the beginning. To load your material, you would start by simply lifting the top portion off. Two circular rings keep the top piece connected to the lower half. The connection is quite snug so you don't have to worry about the top piece accidentally falling off while vaporizing. When loading in your material, I recommend that you fill the bowl about two thirds of the way for best results. To attach the glass drawing stem, first push the short rubber tube provided over the glass stem, leaving some of the rubber sticking out. Then begin shimmying and wedging the glass stem with the rubber tip into the opening on the flash vape. But just be careful when doing this to avoid breaking the glass stem. Once the glass stem is firmly in place, now you want to turn the unit upside down and click the rubber power button. Turn the unit back over and now to initiate the heating element, just hold down the silver button on the front of the device and within about 5 to 7 seconds you should start seeing vapor forming through the see-through glass at the top. The key to getting the best results with the flash vape, I have found, is to engage the heating element for about 5 to 7 seconds and then begin taking a very slow but steady draw. Once you start to see vapor forming, release the button for 2-3 to three seconds while continuing to take a very slow but steady draw. And then after 2-3 to three seconds have passed, re-engage the heating element for another 5 seconds or until you start to see the vapor forming again. The key is to take slow and steady draws. Occasionally shake the device throughout your session to ensure all your material is being evenly vaporized. So once again, this is just one technique I use. For further information on different techniques, there is a guide that comes inside the box that can help you further. In terms of portability, the flash vape can be easily unscrewed down into just three small pieces, making transporting or storing it very easy. But as far as putting it into a pocket and taking it out on the town, I don't really think it's that practical which is why I consider it to be more of a cordless at home unit. A device you'd use when you don't necessarily want to be tied to your desktop unit or you don't want to walk around with a balloon in your hand. 
but at the same time you don't want to sacrifice vapor quality. This is where the flash vape comes in handy. I've been told that a possible flash vape mini could be in the works, which will probably be lighter and more pocketable, so when and if that device becomes available, I'll definitely be sure to bring you guys that review, so subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter for updates. The flash vape ships with two 18650 Lion batteries, which is supposedly safer than most other rechargeable batteries and is said to get about one hour of use on a full charge. That being said, I was able to get about two 15 minute sessions, so about half an hour to 45 minutes before needing to switch batteries. Again, the battery life like with any vaporizer is really going to be dependent on the user and how long and high you vape your material. But I think 30 to 45 minutes is about what you can reasonably expect. So in terms of battery life, there are definitely other devices on the market that can go further distance. But the good thing is the batteries recharge pretty quick, much quicker than any other device I've used. And the fact that you get two batteries means you can be using one while you recharge the other. So it really wasn't much of an issue. So the flash vape is definitely one well-built device. Everything from the body to the heating chamber to the glass drawing stem is premium. The lack of an automatic temperature setting means you will have a much higher chance of scorching your material, but again, this can be easily avoided with some time and practice. And once you get a good technique down, the vapor quality is above average for a portable unit. The heat up time is another area where the flash vape outshines its competition. The unit heats up quicker than any other portable unit I've tried thus far and can reach around 300 360 degrees Fahrenheit within five to six seconds, which easily rivals some of the most advanced and highest costing desktop units on the market, like the Herbalizer, which is something that really impressed me. The battery life could be a little better, and there are definitely portable vaporizers on the market that offer much better battery life, but having two batteries to switch between made vaporizing for prolonged sessions not too difficult. The best part about the flash vape is the very reasonable and affordable price tag of just $130. And if you live in Canada or the United States, shipping is free. So if you're looking for a vaporizer with a superior build quality, a unique design with the ability to see your vapor production while vaporizing, and don't mind not having having an automatic temperature control, then the flash vape is a great device and can produce above average vapor quality. And I'd recommend it to anyone who is looking for a well-built and great tasting vaporizer. So that's my review of the Flash Vape Vaporizer. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Once again, I'd like to thank Jerry from FlashVape.com for sending out this unit for review and for his time and patience while I worked out the kinks to my new office and forming this review. I hope I answered all of the questions you might have had about this device. If there's a question that you still have that I failed to mention, feel free to leave it in the comments below or just tweet me over on Twitter at PocketableTech. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you support the channel and subscribe for much more tech related content. As always, be safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in the next one.